buildings are about 2,500 years old. What makes it eco-large? The limited use of water and the toilets and no electricity. I'm thankful that something so beautiful exists and uh, I think it's a bless yeah. that such places are to be found. Yeah, sure. Basata, it's an Arabic word, it means uh, simplicity. Basata. Simplicity. <laughs> As a guest, you come here and you witness the, the culture. The best thing about it is it never changed. It had one idea, which is exchange of culture. This is, was one main idea. And also to make a place with very low impact on the environment, because this is what you have special here. You have special environment. So it's either you protect it for the next generation or it's gone forever. And we use solar uh, energy for the heaters. You see them on top of the chalet. Now everything here is made out of natural material and 100% Egyptian handmade. We have a greenhouse and we produce with it vegetables and stuff that we use over here. As you can see, we separate our garbage here because we have a recycling system. Mm -hmm. So the waste, the organic waste, it goes to the uh, animals. <coughs> we have goats and camels. We take whatever they produce, their waste, and we mix it with the mud so we can make the bricks. Animal waste, straw, and uh, you take mud from the area here yeah. and you mix it with it and you can build with it chalets. Thank you. 
because we're in a place where there's so little fresh water, this is actually seawater. So you can get all the gunk off your dishes. And then this one is the fresh water. You just do a quick rinse. And all you've used is a teeny little bit of fresh water. And you're good. Oh my god, can you believe it? What kind of fish is that? Look at how close he is to my foot. <laughs>